I am now recording. I want to do a test here. We got this mission here. I did the first one with no problems. Flew right to the front of the building. Parachute. Landed perfect. Shot one guy. Ran to the door. And the ending began. And I tried again and again and again. It was just like all hell just broke loose. Pain in the butt. You gotta do this five freaking times. This task force challenge here. Complete the mission, El Swaino. That's a pain in the butt. I record this one. Let my last video on all three challenges. Apparently, I lost audio. I mean, good thing I wasn't talking, but <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> As you all may know. Where am I at? Alright. Scroll out. El Sueno. Left. Click on El Sueno. Restart the mission. And I have to leave the area first. Yeah. Alright. Let me jump out. Give me a safe house. I go here. I think a wireless headset. Or I guess stuck behind my my arm. Pulled it right off my freaking head. <laughs> Alright. Scroll all the way out. Guy in the center, El Sueño. Boss of bosses. Right click on him. To the left. Restart the mission. Check out. We've received word from Pakatari that one of his rebels might have discovered El Sueño's location. Talk to the rebel and find out what he knows. Then here we go over this. Now order a chopper. Fly right over to the top of the hill where the guy you find dead. And the story storyline starts from there. Let's say spoke English. <laughs> Sound like a bunch of gibber to me. Unless Pakatari to send us a vehicle. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. To the market, Jeeves. Fly to the top of the hill where the arrow's at. Oh, game. That game does that all the time. Invisible loading there. Glitch. Right up to this spot. Or any, anywhere around that don't matter. This is the RV. Something ain't right. Come on, move. Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader, Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pac, but it ain't going through. Think Pac and his rebels threw down with the cartel? And Pac had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pac. Bowman, we've got a situation. We set up a meet with Pac and one of his guys. With Pac? Where are you? Listen, instead of Pac, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pac Katari? Pac Katari is here with me in Pakara. <laughs> Bowman? Bowman! What the hell is going on here? No idea, but we gotta get to Bowman, fast. 
Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Nice. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pack was with her, then the call got cut off. Might be the sad phone dropped the call. Might be Pack fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Pukara? Got it. Give him a minute, and it'll trigger. And there we go. And there's a uh, Sam launcher to my left that you see. And I might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> What I do here is go over this hill. Find the chopper. Far enough away from all that commotion that uh, happens after the mission here starts. But here I'm. Uh, Order a vehicle. Actually, I'm gonna do it over here. It's gonna stick it wherever it wants to. Might have to run a mile to get to it. Want my armored pickup. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. I wish they would just land it right back on my head. This is Diaz. I stick it on my blurry here. Why the hell on the corner? Come on, guys. What the hell, devs? Get your head out of your asses. <laughs> We're a half a mile to get to the damn thing. It's the downside of the game I hate. I really do. Chasing down Loaded vehicles. Chasing down freaking vehicles. This is Diaz. Should be okay now. Hang on, I'll drive. It's the same, um, basically like the same mission when you had it. Shoot everything with your pistol. You shoot the helicopters and all that with your pistol. A few months ago. I mean, this time you can shoot it with whatever you got. Machine gun, sniper, whatever. Truck. Go down here and I park it. I grabbed this gun here, the Mark II Ford, 249, jump this wall, go through this door, start the, start the mission. Bowman. Pack Atari. What about him? He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Pack wants to have a public execution. Sorry, are you saying we need to stop Sueño from getting killed? I'm saying Sueño deserves to rot in prison for the rest of his life, not go out like a <clears throat> martyr. More importantly, he's got enough information inside his head to take down every major cartel out there. I intend to extract that information as thoroughly and as painfully as possible. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the Rebels are no longer our allies. She let go of that cigar hanging out her mouth. <laughs> Try to make her look ugly as I could. <laughs> or all hell breaks loose, supposedly. Sometimes I get lucky and... Contact! Rebel hostiles! Get out before it all starts. I'll catch the glitch. 
run back, haul ass back to my helicopter. Sometimes I can get away without all the helicopters and gunfire and all that. Watch out right here. Get out before all that crap starts. I'm on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's jump on. Hola, camarada. Pack, what the hell are you trying to do? Comes the chat. Same thing as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El sueño will die on Bolivia's soil. My people must know. The government must know. The other cartels must know. The rebels are not slaves for the Americans. We are strong on our own. That why you killed Amaru? Because he wasn't strong enough? Amaru was a man of ideals. Brilliant ideals. But ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting your people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not going to make it any less painful. If there is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life, it's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. See if Adios, I can do this. camarada. Fuck. See if I can do this again. These mausoleums look cute in comparison to the others. SB builds in the different shelters. I've got a healthy amount of people say I want something like this when I'm home. What are you, a seal? Because I don't know any quiet professionals who need something like this. Pocket chest in time. Ah! Damn it! Man, screw up! <laughs> I gotta start the whole damn thing over again. Pain in the butt. Pain in, in the butt. If you can do it, good luck. Or if you can do it, you, you get the right one. So here I am back to this. I got no way to get out of here other than these vehicles. Unless I set myself up. Take this one. Let's go. Go ahead, I'll meet you. Showing up the hill, damn it. Dummy. Right here. Order a chopper. Stick better not stick me on that hill way over there. Pakatari to send us a vehicle. Where you stick it? Come on, dummies. Golly. Stick it. Oh my goodness. Stuck it way over there. I was afraid of that because the sand launch is right on the other side of this hill. Sand launch is right over there. I gotta drive further to get to it. Or go get it right now. And bring it over in this part of the hill. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, this game. It's alright. Going on, man. Right, that's one, one of the pet peeves I hate. Is you gotta chase a stupid vehicle down. 
used to be right next to you or right on your head. I'd rather have it back to that. And have to freaking chase it a mile down a freaking map. It's so stupid. Change it because of all the complainers. Oh, he dropped on my hands. and it kill me. Well, I'd rather have it do that than, you know, run a freaking mile to get the damn thing. The respawn suck. Moment. I'm gonna skip this because I don't need to see it again. We've got enemy activity nearby. Contact Rebel Hostiles. Yeah, follow me if you want to live. <laughs> Stay here and get slaughtered. Be a nice time mission, damn it. Oh, that's over the helicopter. Go, 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 go. The choppers come. Blast them out of the sky before they take off from this thing. I'll pilot. Hola, camarada. Pack, what the hell are you trying to do? Slow Same thing up. as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El sueño will die on Bolivia's soil. My people must know. The government must know. The other cartels must know. The rebels are not slaves Shit. for the Americans. Yeah. Oh, 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 we are strong me. on our own. That why you killed Amaru? Because he wasn't strong enough? Amaru was a man of ideals. Brilliant ideals. But ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt Specialists. Behind you, your people killed. Where those My people know rockets that have been shot, today, fired at you. They will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. I'm out of range now. Painful. If there is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life, it's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Fuck. Gotta aim for that front steps. Pop it just inside of it. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Ah! Damn it. Get the legit of it. Fucking hell. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I get wasted here. There we go. Just in time. You can do that five times. <laughs> Show us your fucking hands. Now. I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad hefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir. Yes, I understand.
Bowman. Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman? He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck. who? Who do you think the DOJ? Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman, it seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. I put a bullet in the back of his head. I'm sorry I got mixed up in the gunfire. NOC Karen <laughs> Bowman, Plan Bolivia After Action Report. Officially, Operation Kingslayer was a success. The Santa Blanca drug cartel was dismantled, Unidad forces are severely weakened, and major shakeups are happening inside the Bolivian government. While the investigation into DEA agent Ricky Sandoval's murder continues, we're confident that those responsible have been neutralized. Most importantly, the man known as El Sueño is no more. He is now confidential informant number 38726B, and CI 38726B has been a veritable gold mine of intelligence. The Las Manas Muertas cartel accountant gunned down by the Mexican Marines last week? That was his. The El Saif terrorist cell arrested in Austria a month ago. Him too. Those Corsican Mafia gunrunners taken down in West Africa? All thanks to the snitch formerly known as El Sueño. The deal is, as long as he provides us with actionable intel, we let him keep breathing that fresh, freedom-filled air. Obviously, he's not ratting out his friends. These are all rival groups encroaching on his business. But, as the old adage goes, the enemy of my enemy is still a fucking enemy. And what does he get in return? Aside from the elimination of anyone standing in his way? A luxurious three-bedroom condo in Pinecrest, Florida. Along with free meals, a 50 buck per diem, and unlimited pay-per-view. All at the expense of our noble taxpayers. Of course, freedom is a malleable term. Thus, his room and board comes with 24-hour surveillance, live-in guards, and cameras in every room. Ever wonder how a former drug lord takes a shit? Trust me on this, it's not nearly as exciting as you'd think. And since most of the shit I say gets redacted anyway, I might as well give you a glimpse into my crystal ball. It won't last. Eventually, he's gonna run out of targets. And then what? No way CIA is putting up the money for a lifetime membership in WITSEC. Best case scenario, Mexico finally files their extradition papers and he ends up in prison for about a week before he disappears into the back of a suspiciously unattended laundry truck. Worst case, we just cut him loose. Maybe he spends a few weeks vacationing in the darkest corners of Eastern Europe before making his way down to El Salvador. Starts up a new cartel. Calls it El Renacimiento, the rebirth. Spends ten times more on security forces this go-round. Then makes his way into Peru and takes over the coca trade there. But now, he doubles down. Meth manufacturing. Heroin from the Middle East. MDMA, bath salt, steroids. If someone wants to swallow it, snort it, smoke it, or inject it, He'll make it, move it, and market it. Except guess the fuck what? I will be right there, waiting for him. Me, and my friends. Those operators. The ones who can't be seen, can't be heard, and can't possibly exist. Yet somehow, still manage to haunt your dreams. Bowman out. So there you have it. And it goes into the credits. Which I'm not going to record. You guys can view it or whatever. However you want to do with it. I might just post this video. And of course, we die. <laughs> Probably die before. Yep, there we go. 
and that's how it ends. And then you do it four, three, two, one more times, whatever that you need to do to complete the mission. And uh, just for a skin, KT Banshee. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Not sure if it's even worth it. There's six days left. You know, I can run it three more times. Of course, not in this video. Just for the skin here, KT Banshee skin. Uh, you get the legits of it. You do that five times. You get the skin, and I think they could have come up with something better for the Task Force Challenge than a, a skin jab, really. I think I even have that skin. KT Banji. Some of you guys might have it. <clears throat> guys and gals might have the KT Banji. I don't even see it in there. I don't even see it. That's a new skin. Something I ain't got. Not sure if you can buy it in the stores. Parts of scans, weapon packs, attachments, boosters. I'm not sure where I go in there. Oh, screw it. Well, anyways, it's up to you all. I showed you one, one finish, and you know, my my second finish of it. But, uh, yeah, six days left for the Task Force Challenge. I'll probably just do this, skip this. I don't, I don't care for the skin. And have, having to go through this three more times, I don't know. It's not in the mood right now, that's for sure. But... Oh, and if, uh, sure. I got a gun last time on the, the video that uh, I had no volume. Um, it was this one, wasn't it? Nope, nope. Oh, yeah, that's a big gun. <laughs> uh, give the name of it. Down here, I thought. And it started with an R. This one? It's, it's got skulls on it. This one, I think, is our 3M. Oop. Oh, my goodness. This one. Or is that sucker? This one I think is. Nope. Oh my goodness. Why these damn guns I got? Jaw. That's it. That's the one I got out of the crate. Um, for f finishing the uh, solo challenges. This one here, you see the jaw wrapped around the barrel and the stock here. That's what it looks like if you haven't seen my other video. And of course the damage and all that. And the parts. 
it looks like. Of course, it's dark out. Scope out, scope in. Not much difference there. That's what that looks like. So, anyways. You get the legits of how to do the mission. Uh, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can follow me on some more gaming videos I intend to uh, play and record and upload and edit and all that good stuff. So, um, I'll catch you on my next videos. I'll catch you later. Talk gun out.